Are you experiencing blurry vision? Well, it might be because your cornea is abnormally curved. Dr. Timothy Hodges from Hodges Eye Care is back to talk to us today about astigmatism. Welcome, doctor. Hello. Hello. Thank you, thank you for having me back again. So this is something that I think confuses a lot of people. Mm -hmm. If they have an astigmatism, they think that nothing can be done about it or that they have to wear glasses for the rest of their lives. For, for 20 years, I've had people ask me about astigmatism. Mm -hmm. And so many people think astigmatism is a disease mm -hmm. um, or a condition. It's, and it's just the shape of your eye. And even that's a little bit confusing because we say it's the shape of your eye. Mm -hmm. So people think that if they have a normal eye, it's round like a basketball. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. There we go. And if they have astigmatism, the eye is oddly shaped like a football. Okay. Okay. But really, we're not talking about the eye. And I think that's where people also get confused because they're thinking then, well, my eye looks round or my eye doesn't look like a football. What we're really talking about is the cornea, which is the clear part of the eye over the pupil. So I, I brought a corneal model in. Mm -hmm. Okay. So a normal cornea would be round like the basketball. Mm -hmm. And any way that you would look at it, it would have the same shape. But, an, but a cornea that has astigmatism simply has sort of the oval shape. So it's kind of bent this way, and I'll exaggerate it. So, it's, so, so that, would, that would be the astigmatism then. So this would have a curve this way, and then there would be a curve that way. And the, and the different curvatures bring light to different points of focus, and that's what causes the blurry vision. Simply the shape of the eyeball. It's not a condition, it's not a disease. It's just the shape of the, well, I said the eyeball again. It's the shape of the cornea. cornea. Mm -hmm. Okay. So can you change the shape of the cornea then? You can. And the most effective way to do that is with LASIK. Okay. And with LASIK, we simply use a laser to treat an area in the middle of the cornea to change this football shape to a round shape. Mm. And that's all that the LASIK does. And, and it can do it simultaneously with treating nearsightedness and to a small degree farsightedness. Now a lot of times people might just have an astigmatism of one eye. Is they that can. Correct? They can. It's 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 a little bit unusual. And in fact if you see that, then there's actually some extra tests that we would do to determine is it normal astigmatism. Because there can be abnormal astigmatism. Okay. Abnormal astigmatism just means that the cornea, instead of having this nice symmetrical football shape, that the cornea could be a little bit oblong. And that could indicate a certain disease that we call keratoconus. Usually, the right eye and the left eye are mirror images of one another. So if you have an astigmatism in one eye, you would normally have an astigmatism in the other eye also. And is there any sort of astigmatism that is not treatable? Well, the, the irregular shape. Okay. If the, if the astigmatism is not symmetrical, it may not be treatable. Okay. And that's the most important, well, I, that's probably the most important part of the screening exam for LASIK. Because if you treat a, an irregular cornea for astigmatism, you can actually end up making that astigmatism worse. So it's very important to screen for that. And is it hereditary? Yes. It is? It is. Yes. Oh. Astigmatism and irregular astigmatism are both hereditary. Okay. So it usually, if you have an astigmatism, usually somebody in your family has that also. Mm -hmm. And is the only way to fix it with LASIK? Well, it depends on the age of the patient and okay. coexisting conditions. For example, my cataract patients, I can correct it with the intraocular lens implant that I use during the cataract surgery. And that's very effective for treating astigmatism. Hmm. So for years, I remember hearing that people with astigmatism could not wear contact lenses. Mm -hmm. Is that true? It's, it's um, not as true as it used to be. Okay. Um, the problem with, again, if you have this shape, if you have this football shape, and then <clears throat> if you have a contact lens, and this can work as a contact lens also, if you're trying to put a, a round contact lens on the football, you can see where there would be some gaps, and it might slide around. But what about soft lenses? So if I, if I put the contact lens on the round eye, of course, it fits really nicely. Yeah. Right. So today, though, they actually make contact lenses that will conform to the shape okay. of the football. actually correct astigmatism with contact lenses today also. Hmm. So my dad and my older sister have had 
really good eyesight their entire lives. My younger sister, my mom, and I have had horrible vision our entire lives. <laughs> but as my dad and my sister continue to get older, they, are they developing astigmatism that they need glasses? Or, you know, how do you start out with perfect vision and then as you get older, now you need glasses and contacts and things like that? That's due to changes inside the eye, okay. in the lens of the eye. So astigmatism is the shape of the cornea. Okay, so and you're born with that. And exactly. Okay, okay. Right. So if you have astigmatism, then once your eyes finish growing, which is usually around 20 or mm -hmm. so, then that's the shape that your eye will stay for the rest of your life. Okay. So, Doctor, before we let you go, tell us what else is going on at Hodges Eye Care. We ha have summer coming up. Is this a busy time for you, a slow time? You know, when I first got here, the summer seemed to slow down a little bit. But now, it seems as though, actually for the last four or five years, we're just as busy in the summertime as we are mm. the rest of the year. And I think that's because more and more the snowbirds are, are staying. Are staying, yeah. And the population of Tucson is, has grown. So um, now we don't actually slow down much. I, I take a little time off to be with my family, but uh, we're just as busy in the summertime as we are the rest of the year. Well, Dr. Hodges, thank you so much again for enlightening us. <laughs> well, I'm glad to give you another installment of your internship. Yes, so. I know, I know. That's exactly what I feel like I'm doing, an internship. I'd be fascinated with um, <laughs> eyes. Thank you so much again. And to make your appointment, you can call 326-4312. You can learn more online at HodgesEyeCare.com. Again, that number is 326-4321 or HodgesEyeCare.com. Still ahead, two great DVDs are hitting the shelves this week. We'll get the haps. Plus, we'll tell you how man's best friend makes new best friends every day visiting those who are ill. How can you help? Find out right after this.